goodness. Look, we're by ourselves. Crepe, look at the holes. They can literally read all the stuff that happened. Just look at that. I got to touch it.
this thing. It's incredible, man. You get to see this airplane right in front of us and then read the story of what happened. Just incredible. Great job, Sally. Saving these people, man. There's the man right here. Co pilot. Oh my goodness, look at the carnage. Touch them, man. They're all airplanes. It's amazing. <laughs> Skyhawk. So much history. It feels so good in here. It's nice and chilly on a hot summer day. It's so nice and quiet. Just, oh man. Oh look, he sunk pretty good down there. Now let's see all the stuff that's in there. I'm glad I left it in the engine so I can see it. Just how big this thing is.
So these are things I'll find in Miami airport. People try to get in the luggages through the through the security. Is that a Luger? I saw a baby somewhere. Is that a baby? Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, that's so creepy. That's so creepy. That's so creepy. <gasps> oh. Here is the uh, runway, okay, and here in the airport, and you're going to fly a pattern that kind of looks like this big racetrack, and then you'll come back around to land. So, and take off? yeah, you're going to take off, and I'm going to show you. If I take off like this, yeah, they sure do. In the way like this. That's exactly right. You got it down. Was it the flight simulator? Oh my goodness. So this is your throttle. This is like what your dad steps on in the car to give the car gas to go. So you're going to push that all the way up to the to where these two are, okay? Then you're going to watch this little needle. And you see that white needle right there? When it gets to 60, then you're going to pull back on this just very, very gently. Just very smooth. There you go. And then the plane will get into the air. Wait for that needle to start to move, and when it gets here to 60, then, then, then that's when you do it. Okay? And once you get in the air, you're going to see a little white and blue dot show up. Yeah, push that all the way, and the plane will start to move. You see how it's going? Keep watching that needle because it starts moving just a moment. Okay, you're there. Pull back very, very gently. Pull back. Pull to you. There you go. A little bit more. There you go. Not too fast. A little bit forward and a little bit. Push forward. There you go. Here's our next pilot right here. Okay, you're in here.
this hole. The grandchildren I wouldn't see grow up, you know. My heart was beating very, I remember it was deafening. Like I couldn't, I couldn't hear anything yes. because my heart was beating so That's, loudly. Look, this is the airplane. Say 20 seconds or so after I said my goodbyes and I said my okay. prayers. That's when I had the feeling of overcame of peace. Somebody behind um, yelled, be ready to open those doors. When they screamed at somebody up by the door said, we got it. <laughs> I did die. I remember very quickly looking down the river and seeing the first ferry boat coming towards us. My crew took out 24 people. My deckhands were literally like grabbing them like fish and putting them on the deck. We know people call this the miracle on the Hudson, but for an investigator, it was just a, a convolution of of things that went right. Good training in the airline that was involved, uh, good oversight from the FAA, uh, a manufacturer that designed a very good and safe aircraft, and in the very end, uh, they managed to land the aircraft successfully. Over 45,000 flights a day occur within the United States. Come back and see all this.
they have like a little overlook right here. Look, Necra Plaza. How cool is that? You can see them land. Oh, there's a little thing coming down. Those are smart to have a whole bunch of airlines in here. Yeah. Alright, ready to go? Say bye. Bye. Let's go sit down the wing. Let's go to the news. Alright, let's go. This place is great.